All right, guys. So today I'm going to be talking about the personal beard growth and care routine I've followed over the last year and a half. Um, about a year and a half ago, I couldn't grow anything. I'm going to pretty much talk about how I've done it. So, first things first, I'm going to talk about a few things, but some of it's optional. But there's one essential thing I think everyone should use, and you have to be over 18 to use it, like I believe, for you meant to be over 18 to use it, which is Minoxidil. This is the most, like this is more important than all the other things combined. If you want to grow, if you can't really grow a beard right now and you want to grow one. So essentially this is, um, I've ripped the label off, but it's Rogaine. It's with the brand called Rogaine. And it's typically used for men who are just losing their hair. And it's it's meant to promote the, um, DHT in the body, which is a type of testosterone to help regrow hair. But they've done some studies on it and some fell on, like some fell done this like a while back, but turns out it can be used for beard growth as well. And it's without even affecting your hair at all. So if you take this, you don't have to worry about losing, like, you know, losing your hair and often, but anyway, so the way this works is you can get off Amazon or something, you can get like three months worth for about 40 quid. So it's not too expensive, really. So you pop the top of it and you do this twice a day, 12 hours apart. So you just do like half rounds for almost a full cup. It's because um, you're meant to do about half a cup, half the lid, but it doesn't fit because um, the way it's, it's a foam, get the foam version by the way, it'll save you a lot of trouble. Don't get the liquid version, it'll wreck your skin. Um, you fill this halfway up, where you try to, but the thing is the way the foam stacks, it'll end up, it won't stack properly at the bottom. So you have like, you have like, you have like a big gap at the bottom. So you kind of fill it towards most of the top, but anyway, so you fill this up and rub it across, you know, your, your lower face where you grow your beard and your neck. Rub it into your skin. If you already have a beard and you want to like enhance your growth, don't rub it into the hairs. You need to rub it into the skin because rubbing it into the, the hairs doesn't do anything. Rubbing it into the skin gets it, gets it into your blood and, you know, flowing through your blood. But yeah, so you do this twice a day. Let's say you do it now in the morning. Then you do it 12 hours. You don't do it any earlier than 12 hours, I believe. So you do nine at night as well. Or, you know, fit, you know it's not massive. And that, give or take an hour or two is probably not a big deal. But if you want to get the most out of this, that's how you do it. After an hour, you've absorbed about 50% of the of Minoxidil. After four hours, you've absorbed about 75%. So if, and if sometimes, if it's rec- it damaging the skin a bit, because it can, the foam version is not perfect either. But my experience hasn't. You can wash it off four hours after you've put it on because you've absorbed about 75% of the Minoxidil after four hours after application. Um, yeah, so you do that twice a day, every single day. If you stop doing it, like two, so let's say you only do three months and you stop doing it, chances are your gains aren't permanent because the hairs in your face, there's like two types of um facial hair, well there's three types, there's like like no like say not fully developed hairs, transitional hairs and terminal hairs and terminal hairs are permanent. So if you take this only for three months and you stop taking it, you're probably gonna lose all your gains because the hairs aren't terminal. If you take it for around two years, you can probably typically you can stop taking monoxidal full stop after about 18 months to two years because that you've given enough time for the hairs, these like undeveloped hairs to transition into terminal hairs. So after like say, I've, I've done like around 18 something months now, I'm probably gonna go for about two years and just stop like stop cold turkey then. Unless, start, unless I start losing it all. <laughs> but typ- typically you expect to keep it all after two years. Um, yes, yeah, so that's Minoxidil. I'm trying to think, again, don't get the liquid version. I think it's about the same price, but it'll just ruin your skin. Anyway, so the rest of this stuff isn't really essential, but it's it's helpful. I, I don't even use this a lot anymore. It's a dermal roller. You do this once a week. So um, there's lots of tutorials on how to use it online, but essentially you go up and down. With, it's like this little, little blade thing. I'll get it out. So you need to like um, sterilize it in alcohol, rub in alcohol. So you need to buy that as well. Probably you go up and down, left to right, ten times all over, then diagonal. 10 times each way. Um, it promotes 
I believe it's so it's uh, microblading. What's it called? So it creates tiny micro abrasions, these tiny little holes in your skin that will create more collagen. And collagen, typically, apparently for men, promotes facial hair growth. Um, that's only once a week. Only takes about five minutes, give or take. It's considered something to go that goes along quite well with minoxidil, but I only done it for like the first six, nine months. I didn't even do. I didn't do. You know, I've done it that long, but it's worth doing. You know, if you want to get the most out of your gains, this is a um, jojoba oil with about. 100, I think it's. I don't know if it's like fifty or hundred drops of peppermint oil in it. Um, it's kind of like. Say if you're like a teenager and you want to try and grow a beard, you could use that instead of minoxidil. You're best off doing it DIY as well. So to go for, I put like, so let's say after I get home from work, I'll get a shower and whatever, wash, I'll end up washing the minoxidil off my face. And again, same thing, rub this, do three drops on your palm, and rub it on your, rub it, now don't rub it into the hairs, you need to rub up to get onto the skin typically. So if you have a beard already, same with minoxidil, don't rub down because you're going with the hairs. It's kind of like going against the grain. So you need to push up and rub it into your skin. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything other than make your beard smell nice. Um, you can apply that once a day typically. I just so I, I'll do it first thing after work. So the minoxidil's been in my system for like eight hours. I can wash it off by then. I put that on and then I'll put minoxidil in the evening. Um, okay, so another thing. Yeah, so it's pretty good though. It's again if you're under eighteen, you can probably do that and you know don't I'm not I'm no professional I'm not like a medical professional or like about any of this whatever so don't take my word for it do your own research like anything but um that will assist in blood so it brings it'll also bring more blood to your face which will promote more hair growth so this again so like this like the next two things aren't like essential I'll tell you that right now it's but it's if you want to do whatever it's good to have one of these anyway I guess if you have a beard but it's a bristle brush get off Amazon whatever so it's like ball bristle so it's quite rough um, again I don't use this very often anymore but I have one so essentially if you rub it into your skin it's um, rubbing against your hair follicles engaging the follicles and it'll bring more blood to your face you can, I mean, you can do this whenever you know what I mean if you're just chilling around the house and whatever watching something rub that on your face for a bit it's also good for just getting some of the mess out of your beard um, like dead set dead cells apparently but um <coughs> i was gonna say yes yeah, so you can use this again it's not essential you can use this i don't know if you can use it like it just promotes growth in a way because it's simulating the hair follicles on your face yeah and another thing would be just a if you excuse me, excuse me if you have like if you already have a beard a balm or something or a wax this is a wax but i don't, I don't have a balm right now um it's mostly for styling, but it does condition it. Same thing with the peppermint oil, it does condition your already existing beard if you have one. Um, it's more for styling, but it does, I believe, I'm, I'm guessing it does. That's for beard care more than anything. That's for beard care, and then another thing would just be a bloody beard shampoo, twice a week, whatever. Now, but the thing is, with um, <coughs> your um, balms and your shampoos, your beard balms and beard shampoos is so if you if you know about minoxidil already you may have heard of DHT blockers so since we we're using minoxidil to promote DHT in our bodies there's products like these contain what we call DHT blockers so they have things and they have um, substances you can say or whatever chemicals whatever that um, inhibits that like prevents you from growing as much hair as if you didn't as it, as opposed to if you didn't use them. So you don't have to worry about peppermint oil and hobo oil because they're not the DHT blockers. Typically, balms have argan oil and are hot, like um, shampoos also have argan oil, which are is a DHT blocker. And there's typically a few other things. There's plenty of there's loads of DHT blockers, but you can buy beard balms that and beard shampoos that are advertised as without the HD blockers, but in my experience personally, when I was using Minoxidil for like the first six months, I was just, I was still shaving. I was just growing and shaving, which you can do, by the way, you can shave if you're using Minoxidil. Just make sure it's not fresh on your face when you shave. But um, 
I wouldn't worry about DHD blockers too much in my personal experience. Some other people may say otherwise, but it's worth knowing about them. Again, you can buy non-DHD blocker stuff online. But yeah, I think that sums up about everything. Yeah. So, <clears throat> again, I don't use all these things right now. I've used them all in the past at some points. Occasionally use them. Like, say, the bristle brush I use, may, I may only use once or twice every other week or something like that, or once a week, not often. I don't use the dermal roller a lot anymore because I don't really feel like I need to, but, you know, I might start doing it again. But I'm still using Minoxidil every day. I'm, I'm shampooing, obviously, because <laughs> I'm not scruff. I'm using the peppermint. I'm just keep looking down to see what there is. I'm using the peppermint oil every day, and they use the style and stuff every day. But, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below and whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell or whatever you want to see more. Make sure you want to see new videos come out. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in whatever's next.